In the rolling hills of north central Texas, far from its homeland in South America, the Peruvian Paso's valued attributes of strength, gait, and brio thrive under the stewardship of Shea and Leonard Hoffman, who have made it their passion to preserve and propagate the attributes of the Peruvian horse that have made it the national horse of Peru and one of North America's most popular and athletic horse breeds. Welcome to Fly and H Ranch. Hello, I'm Leonard Hoffman and I'd like to welcome you to uh, Flying H Ranch and uh, hope you enjoy the, the day here. We're located in Valley View, Texas. We're about 40 miles north of, uh, north of Dallas where we're close to uh, Gainesville. The ranch covers 550 acres of rolling wooded hills, open pastures and ponds and is ideally suited for growing Peruvian horses at a natural pace. Leisurely trail rides through the lush green pastures and woods are part of the everyday regime at the ranch. We started our breeding program about 15 years ago with the uh, Peruvian horses. And I've been breeding animals or around animals uh, most of my life. So I've been familiar with how you breed and things that you, you look for in breeding. So when we started into the Peruvian horses, we started fairly slow and took it slow and easy and, and just began to, to learn and, and to experience and to see what kind of traits were the dominant traits, what kind of traits um, were easy to change, what kind of traits were real hard to change in, in a breeding program. And so in our early years, we, we did some uh, experimenting really in, in our program to kind of get a feel of, of what we wanted to do and, and what we were, uh, uh, where we wanted to go with our program and, and how we, we could accomplish that. One of the things about the Peruvian horses is that there are really several different types of gait in the horses. Some will, will step uh, higher and have more action uh, in their front legs. And they look really beautiful. They're wonderful horses, and they're really neat to watch in, in parades and, and in the show. Um, some of the other horses will maybe not raise their front legs up quite as high, but will have more uh, extension and, and maybe will take a, a bigger step as, as they move. So there's several different types of gates that you look for. And our program has kind of developed into uh, a particular type of gate that we're, uh, that we're trying to accomplish. And if you, as you look at this clip of Ambrosia, you will see that this particular gait that she has is, is one of the more rare, actually, in, in uh, the Peruvian horses. It's what we call a gateado gait. Uh, some of the horses will, uh, as they pass by you, if you were to listen, you would be able to hear their feet as they uh, step very firmly uh, on the ground moving by. The gateado gait horse, like you see here with, with Ambrosia, is they move more like a cat. They're very soft and easy in the way they place their, their feet down. And this happens to be our real preference here. We enjoy this type of, of a move. The horse is very smooth, is a joy to ride, and you can just um, enjoy this type of ride all day long. We really focus in our foundation uh, horses of this type of gait. Mm -hmm. 
what we're working for to enhance and to um, add a little bit to that, you can see in our stallion, uh, Legendario, and you'll notice if you watch, watch him real close, you can notice that his uh, front shoulder is very loose, and as he reaches forward, it's more of a swimming stroke almost, and, and it's just a nice fluid um, reach. The other thing that, that we're focused on in our program is that we really like the, uh, the extension and we like for the horse to, to cover the ground very efficiently and, and uh, almost effortlessly. Um, and you can notice that in both of these horses that the, the wonderful extension that they have and the amount of ground they cover in, in their particular type of steps. And this is really kind of the, the foundation uh, that we're looking for and what we're trying to, to accomplish on the ranch. Uh, it's important in uh, trying to develop a type of gait that you don't lose sight of the rest of the horse also. You need a horse that's strong. You need a horse that has good conformation. Uh, and as you will see in, in some of the other uh, pictures uh, uh, from uh, the riding that, that we do around here, we really expect our horses to be, uh, to work and to be a very um, efficient working horse and so the strength and the temperament are also uh, very important to us in our program. While most people may think of the Peruvian horse as a fine show horse and excellent trail horse, it's also adept at ranch work such as moving cattle. Leonard, Chris and Alejandro show the Peruvian's ability at moving the herds a part of everyday ranch work. Having owned Peruvian Pasos for a while, one of the uh, misconceptions that I find that people have about our breed is they uh, tend to think that all Peruvian Pasos are little horses. In a breeding program, we try to obtain a horse that fits the national breed standard, which is somewhere between 14 and 16 hands. A horse that's smaller than 14 uh, still has a good purpose, and one that's over 16 has a very fine purpose, particularly for working. Uh, but one of the things that I find is that uh, when people come out to our ranch and see the size and shape of our horses, they're somewhat surprised because they don't realize that the horses are as big and formidable as they really are. Now, for me personally, I feel like that uh, if you're going to compare a horse in size to a Morgan or a Clydesdale, well, our horses are small. And if you're going to compare it to a thoroughbred, well, our horses are short. However, when I have to stand on a two-step step stool to be able to get on my horse, I think the horse is plenty big enough for me.
There is a careful and methodical way to train the Peruvian horses, and the resident Shalon at Fly and H Ranch, Alejandro Portales, uses calm and unhurried training methods to produce trained horses that grow and learn at a natural pace. Training is never rushed. It's at a pace the horse can assimilate learning. The four-beat lateral gait is completely natural and is exhibited even by young foals. This lateral gait as compared to a diagonal gait of most other breeds accounts for the exceptionally smooth ride the Peruvian is legendary for. The action of the front legs is also completely natural and is referred to as termino. Hello, welcome to Fly Nage Ranch. Uh, my name is Alejandro Portales. I'm in charge of uh, the training over here in the Peruvian Paso horses. Well, what we're trying to do right now with this horse is a, he's a colt. He's a three-year-old colt. It's the time when we begin our training on the Peruvian Paso horses. And uh, the basic training with, with the green horse is uh, kind of to launch the horse first. After that, you proceed to uh, put the blanket, the, the corona, and the saddle on the horse. Uh, later on, you adjust the saddle with the cinch, make sure the crupper is in the right place, nothing will bother the horse. And uh, after that, you go ahead and launch the horse a little bit. Make sure the horse is comfortable with the way the saddle fit him or the noise where the saddle will make. And uh, like in every other training basis, you have to help, or you have to have help all the time. Like this guy is helping us right now. And well, what I'm gonna do right now is trying to work with the horse and the guy uh, I want to, for him to get on and make sure everything is okay with the horse and he can go, we can go around with him and the, my help over here, Juan, work with the horse a little bit. We do kind of this work three times, four times before the trainer get on the horse. You know, we have to work a little bit, do the bending like we're doing right now. Both sides, make sure the horse is comfortable with that because uh, the saddle probably will bother him in one side or the other side, but this way, like as you're seeing right now, uh, the horse is comfortable, it's probably good for him, he don't feel, you know, uh, uncomfortable or something, and it's, it's the, probably the time that I can get on and start their training. Well, generally, it takes Four months to get, have the horse ready for either for show or just for trail riding or somebody else to get on the horse. After those four months, the horse will be, you know, more comfortable with the saddle. He will be afraid of anything, and you can really work with him. The Peruvian tack used with the Peruvian horses is traditional, functional, and beautiful. The craftsmanship is exquisite. The saddle itself is rich in tradition. The wooden stirrups are carved from a single block of wood and were often used in Peru as both a ground anchor to tie the horses at night and a candle holder as a light source. Okay, we got a traditional uh, Peruvian show saddle over here. This is the blanket which go over the horse to protect him to get a full contact with the corona which is the next piece after the blanket. And it's just a leather piece, it's a little curved because it's a show saddle. And this protect the horse from feel the whole weight of the saddle itself. And the, the show saddle 
scarf, you know, it's awful leather. Um, it has the, the front a little bit open over here, which is very good for the horses. Though, so that will protect them from uh, have some bruises on their back or, you know, hold the horses. That's, this is a very good saddle. It's a deep saddle. And um, then we got the, the retrancas, which is more right now we're using more like an ornament than like we did before. Before the stain was used and the mountains of Peru to when the people were getting down from the mountain to the coast, this was a little bit higher in the horse's rear, so it will prevent for the saddle to go forward because the Peruvian Paso horse don't have the wither like other horses, like the Coro horses or other horses that I mean will stop the, the saddle with the withers. You know, so now it's more like an ornament because we don't use it more, uh, we don't use it the, the horses to come down from the mountains anymore. Now, of course, there are more cars and transportation, so it's better that way. And um, like I said, this is the Peruvian saddle, and this is their strip, their wood, make out of uh, a wood like a mesquite tree. They're a very strong uh, wood strip and uh, they are carved too. The, this whole saddle is uh, handmade in Peru for the artisans over there in Peru. With its exceptional versatility and ultra-smooth four-beat lateral gait, the Peruvian is ideally suited for side saddle riding as demonstrated by Chris and is the preferred horse of choice for the internationally known Texas Ladies Aside, a side saddle riding and performance troupe which uses only Peruvian horses. Shay and Leonard are both pilots. The exacting and precision aviation skills they acquired are practiced as well in the breeding, training, and showing of their horses. The Peruvian is a trusting and self-assured trail horse capable of navigating woods and thickets with great agility and confidence. It's not at all unusual to take a champion of champions show horse and use them for trail and pleasure riding. This is all part of the versatility and one of the hallmarks of the Peruvian breed. Lion H Ranch has enjoyed much success in the competitive show ring, capturing top honors in the highest venues repeatedly. For the team at the ranch, it's less about winning and more of a validation that their carefully planned and well thought out program has yielded results and is on the right track. You'll notice that the horses that we're riding are, many of them are champion of champions, or at least champions. Our, our show horses, our first must be a horse, and, and to us, they, they should be enjoyed, and then we show them. Uh, and so th that's another real important aspect to us uh, on our ranch, and, and a real important uh, uh, viewpoint that we have about the horses. It is such an enjoyable ride um, that that they're just they're, they're just a wonderful thing to, to experience. These horses are good on trail. Um, 
They're good uh, for just about everything that anybody wants to do on a horse. Most of us have horses because we enjoy them, because we want to ride them, because we we just want want to be around them and, and go trail riding or um, do you know other kinds of riding on them. The Peruvian is by far the best ride that you can that you can ever imagine. It is totally different. And the Peruvian to, to me is just a uh, it, it is such a joy. Well, you know, we got into horses by going and visiting other ranches, and um, so we're always open to have other people respond in kind and come and visit us. And so uh, we would really like it if anytime somebody comes to visit and we get an opportunity to show them this beautiful horse. And one of the things that I've found is that uh, people will come out and look at the horse, and they'll see you ride it, and then you can get the person to sit on that horse and they'll go away from you. When they come back, they got this huge grin on their face and we can say, now you understand what the Peruvian Pazzo horse is all about. And actually, until you ride it, you really don't know. So we love for people to come out and we love to be able to share this, uh, this breed with them. And, and I know that they'd be able to call us at any time. And uh, as soon as they can make a contact with the ranch, we'd be glad to set up a time to see them. Shay and Leonard and the entire team at the Fly and H Ranch invite anyone interested in learning more about the Peruvian breed to contact them and experience firsthand the overwhelming feeling after riding one that you are destined to own a Peruvian horse. <laughs>